Every year in Northern California, 125,000 children are born. 1993 was just like any other in that regard. On April 18th of that year, Joseph and Anne Pang welcomed a beautiful little girl into the world. Like all parents with a newborn, they dreamed of Joanne growing up one day to have a family of her own. But Joanne's story would be different. When a child becomes very ill, the most important people in her life are her parents. And then when a child finds out that they may not be able to stay on this earth much longer, then there's a whole different journey towards a, a bigger and a greater destination. And to keep that in front of them is not something to fear, although we all fear death, but to, to kind of keep it in perspective. And so Joanne was one of these people that at such a young age had to prepare to go to the Lord much earlier than we all thought. I remember meeting Joanne Pang when I gave her first communion. She came forward to receive and she had this uh, incredible smile on her face. And that's when I first noticed her as a very special second grader. The thing that I remember first about Joanne is how incredibly musical she was, above average musical. Uh, not just saying this with a warm memory, but an impression that she made upon me in the very, very, very first lesson. Joanne at that time was a, a normal kid, very uh, joyful and uh, cheerful. Joanne was diagnosed with leukemia and began her battle. As an Asian girl, it was difficult for us to find a suitable bone marrow match for a transplant. Joanne became aware that she was not getting better. She became aware that she was getting weaker. Finally, in desperation, we took Joanne to Duke Medical Center for a cold blood transfusion. This gave Joanne another six months of life, but the cancer was so deeply rooted in her body. It was too late. It was too late. She died on January 13th. Joe's struggle with his grief, you know, how to come to terms. He says that someone told him to pray the rosary, so he began to pray it daily. That was July, and then in September 15th, which is the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows, he came home from work, and there was a message from what sounded like his daughter's voice. It's incredibly rare that the right cause, for the right reason, comes along at the right time. This is one of those times. I was a doubting Thomas. It took me years to come around to believing that Joanne's voice was really on that answering machine. Joe Pang and his unwavering faith in his cause has united us today with a simple purpose, to save lives. And we're doing it with the most fundamental connections of all, the umbilical cord that binds a mother and her child. Here in the Bay Area, even though about 100,000 babies are born, there is no place for a parent to donate cord blood free of charge. The Northern California Umbilical Cord Blood Bank at UCSF Children's Hospital will make this a possibility and will level the playing field for children of all ethnic and cultural diversity. Everyone in the Bay Area should not walk, but run to their checkbook to write a contribution to the Joanne Pang Foundation. By collecting umbilical cord blood, hundreds of lives can be saved every year and ensure that every child has an opportunity at a full life. Hey, Daddy.